welcome back in this tutorial we will learn about whole thread or tab and pattern command so click on start mechanical design part design okay maximize so we will create one object to take trials on whole command Click on pad. Okay. Okay. Then okay. So here is the whole command. Click on hole. Click on the surface where you want to create the hole. Then from this position sketch, you have to define the position of your hole. So click on this sketch and define the parameter for this star. So where you want to place it. Suppose I want to place it here and give the pa parameters using constraint. Select the point, give the first reference, give the dimension what you want. Again constraint, star, click on the star, the second reference and give the distance whatever you want then click on exit workbench and from here now the first hole is blind so from here you can define the diameter of the hole and here you can define the depth of the hole how much depth you want it and from here you can see the preview so th as this is a blind hole so we can give the depth whatever we required so if you required you can reverse also if you required it on upside or downside that you can control using this reverse button and you can also define the bottom of the hole so click on this flat if you want it v bottom select v bottom so a v bottom drill like hole will be created and you can define the angle here for the V how much angle you want that you can define here so this is the first blind hole then if you want the through hole you can define it up to last so it will create a through hole up to the last and from the type you can define the type of the holes which type of hole you want suppose I want it to be simple if you click on simple you can see the if you want it taper so you can create the taper hole so in that case you have to give angle at the bottom so you can define the anchor point here what is your reference point you can select here bottom or top suppose right now I want it at bottom and from bottom you can define this angle if you want the taper hole 90 degrees given there so in this way taper hole is created if you want counter board preview then here you have to define the diameter of the counter board suppose it is 40 then depth how much depth you want for counter board 10 so these are the two parameters actually preview so in this way you can create the counter board then counter sun So for countersunk you can define the depth, how much depth you want and angle and from preview you can preview it. You can give the depth and angle or if you want depth and diameter that also you can give depth and diameter above how much that also you can give or you can give angle and diameter also. This internal angle and the diameter. So in three ways you can give the countersunk parameters. Then counter drill review so that is the combination of counter bore and counter sun that is counter drill so you can give the depth of a diameter angle all at the same time if this will contain some 3d you can click here and define the threading portion also suppose I want 
type to be simple hole and then define the thread click on this thread then you can choose the some standard if you want to create it from some standard suppose I want this thick pitch ok alright ok and from here you can define the size how much you want suppose I want it to be M20 as per size it will resize your hole automatically and it will define all the parameters properly so hole diameter you from here you can control the thread depth how much depth you want for your threads then you call you can also define whether you want left handed thread or right handed thread so as per that you can define the threads and click on ok so a hole with thread will be created so it is a actually a cosmetic uh, threading that means you can view it when you create a 2d drawing so in 2d drawing it will be represented properly and that note will appear on 2d drawing so it will not be visible in 3d actually same way if you have already defined some shaft or hole you can create the thread and tap in the same way suppose I have some shaft here ok and I want to define cosmetic thread for this so click on this thread tab then lateral face to which face you want to apply the tab uh, threading then limit face and then the from here you can define the thread parameters or you can use the standard as we seen previously here you can give the thread depth up to what depth you want the thread that you can define you can define the so this dialog box is same as we seen in the whole so just click on ok so it will be created that means it will be visible only in the 2d drawing not in 3d so in this way you can create a cosmetic thread and tap and hole also so we will just delete it then next is pattern so there are three types of patterns are there rectangular circular and user pattern so we will add first see rectangular pattern so we just change position of this hole we'll shift it position sketch will shift towards the edges suppose 24 24 double click exit workbench ok then we want to pattern this hole so select this hole hole 1 then click on this rectangular pattern then you have to define your number of instances how much you want for you then spacing between the holes then here you have to define the reference di direction reference element click on this no selection and define the line so in this line I want the pattern so suppose I want this gap to be more if you 25 same way if I want to define it in this direction also so click on this second direction then again define the number of instances and gap between the holes and click on then give the reference direction again here click here no selection and select the line in which direction you want so they are coming downward on downward side side so you can by clicking on this reverse you can make them go upward same way from for this first direction also you can change the direction using reverse and click on preview 
so in this way this rectangular pattern is created and if you want to hide some instances then click on those points so those holes will not be visible in pattern so in this way make the, you can make some holes hidden if you don't want them to be shown so in this way you can create a rectangular pattern so click on ok so this rectangular pattern is created same way if you want to create circular pattern suppose I will just delete it suppose I have some cylinder here I will create one cylinder Okay, then some hole is there on the cylinder. And one pocket is there. Now I want to pattern this hole on this cylinder. So for that again select this pocket. Then click on this and select circular pattern. Then from here select complete crown, the number of instances suppose 8, then reference direction you have to select this cylindrical part and the other option are the same you can if you don't want to view some holes just click on these points so those holes will be invisible you can make you can view that and if you want to make them on again click on those holes so it will again visible and if you want to make them in half circle then don't select the complete crown then here you can define the instances and total angle suppose I want number of 4 in 180 degree And preview so those will be created in the 180 degree number of four instances and from here reverse you can change the side of the holes on which side you want it so in this way you can create in half portion also or any angle you specify we will take it complete crown preview okay then if you want there is crown definition is also there if you click on this crown definition you can define the more circular repetitions also suppose I want it to be 3 and gap between them is 25 so in this way you can define pattern in circular format you can also repeat in circular format and if you don't want it make it one so it will be in single only And click on OK. So in this way you can create a circular pattern. Then next is user pattern. That means suppose I will delete this. Suppose there is some sketch. You have some sketch wherein you have defined the location for your holes using points. Suppose points are there double I will double click to create multiple points double click so you can define the multiple points and you can give the parameters to this point using constraint you can define what what is your reference dimension that you can give to each and every point so that those those point will be at accurate position then exit then I want to put this hole at each and every point so for that select this hole then click on user pattern then select this sketch and ok so it will create repeat that hole or any feature at that position
so in, the, in this way you can use user pattern then you can view that in each and every command there is skip specification option is there so what is that that we will see now so we'll just delete this user pattern suppose i will create one cut for my reference Suppose I want to cut it, pocket. Okay. Then suppose I will create one parallel plane from this horizontal at some distance. Okay. Then on this I will create one pattern. That I will create one of sketch actually. That from that I will create one object. Uh, okay. Okay, on this side I will create. So you can reverse it from here. Okay, on this side. Here I will create one circle. Then I will pad it. And suppose I will give some depth to it, 80. Then ninety or suppose I I want to touch it, so I will say up to next. So it will touch it properly and okay. And now if I try to pattern this rod, suppose I will make the pattern rectangular pattern. Okay, at first I will select this pad 4 here, then click on rectangular pattern. Then, instances suppose 5 gap is spacing is 25, direction reference direction is this line, and in reverse direction. And if we see the preview, so they are not touching to this surface actually, they are away from the main object. So, if I want I have applied here the logic up to next. Suppose I want to maintain that logic, then you have to click on this skip specifications and then preview. So it will automatically extend as per the object below it. So in this way, you can use this skip specifications. So that's all. So in this way, we have covered our rectangular or pattern pattern part so we'll stop here so you can view the exercises on this tutorial here then next lecture you can view here then the complete playlist for katia can be viewed here and from here you can subscribe the channel so thanks for watching we'll stop here